China is building the world's highest bridge. Imagine driving along a road nearly 200 meters higher than the tip of the Empire State Building, a road so high it feels like you're navigating through the clouds. Suspended 625 meters above the Wajang Grand Canyon in China, this road is not just a dream. It's becoming a reality with the construction of a record-breaking bridge. This massive structure spans mountains, shatters records, and remains largely unknown to many. Today, we're diving into China's audacious plan to build the world's highest bridge and uncover how this engineering marvel ties into the country's broader efforts to modernize one of its most rugged regions. Welcome to the story of the Huajiang Bridge. In a remote region of China, over 1,800 kilometers from Beijing, the Huajiang Bridge has been under construction for three years. This suspension bridge is unprecedented in its design and scale. Spanning nearly three kilometers in total length, its main span stretches an astounding 1,420 meters across the Huajiang Grand Canyon. To put that into perspective, the main span is 10 meters longer than the Humber Bridge in the United Kingdom, which held the title of the world's longest suspension bridge for 17 years. What truly sets the Huajiang Bridge apart, however, is its height. Its deck towers 625 meters above the canyon floor, making it the highest bridge ever constructed. It surpasses the previous record holder by a remarkable 60 meters. Even watching workers navigate the narrow catwalks during construction is enough to make your palms sweat. Even if you're not afraid of heights, watching the construction of the Huajiang Bridge might make you think twice. The bridge is supported by two colossal towers, 262 meters tall on the north side and 205 meters on the south. These towers are anchored directly into the mountainside, hundreds of meters above the canyon floor, together with two enormous suspension cables, each weighing over 9,000 tons. They hold up the bridge like two trees supporting a hammock. From an engineering standpoint, the Huajiang Bridge is an incredible achievement. But beyond its record-breaking design, it serves a crucial purpose as part of the Liu Yuan Expressway. This highway will reduce travel time across the canyon from 90 minutes to just two, vastly improving connectivity in the region. What's more, the Huajiang Bridge incorporates a host of hidden features that set it apart from other massive suspension bridges. In fact, these added innovations were so significant that engineers had to reinforce the support trusses to accommodate the extra weight. But the story of the Huajiang Bridge is more than just a tale of record-breaking construction. It's also deeply tied to the history and development of Guizhou Province, one of China's most remote and rugged regions. To fully appreciate this project, we need to zoom out and look at the bigger picture. Guizhou, the land of demons. Guizhou is a mountainous region in southwestern China historically overlooked and often considered unimportant to the Chinese empire. For centuries, outsiders rarely ventured into Guizhou, and its local people seldom left, leaving the province shrouded in mystery. Its name in ancient Chinese, Guizhou, even translates to the land of demons. About the size of Missouri or Uruguay, Guizhou is almost entirely covered in mountains and hills. But these aren't gentle rolling hills, this is a land of extremes. From towering waterfalls to deep canyons and surreal rock formations, Guizhou's landscape is awe-inspiring. Geologically, Guizhou is a karst region, defined by its soft, soluble rock formations like limestone. This unique geography creates the dramatic cliffs, caves, and sinkholes that dominate the province. Karst landscapes, like those in Guizhou, are easily eroded by water. Over time, the rock dissolves, creating the dramatic cliffs, caves, and sinkholes that define the region. Guizhou is part of the South China Karst, a vast area stretching across several provinces. UNESCO recognizes it as one of the planet's great landscapes. That said, Guizhou is also extremely inhospitable. An old Chinese saying sums it up well. Guizhou is a land where there are no three days without rain, no three fields without a mountain, and no three coins in anyone's pocket. In other words, it's wet, poor, and rugged. Rain often persists for weeks on end, and the mountainous terrain makes agriculture difficult. 
These challenges have historically left Giju one of China's poorest regions. For much of its history, the province lagged in development, with low literacy rates and minimal infrastructure in rural areas. Development was so slow that Giju didn't have a proper road until the 1970s. When the first road was completed, it marked a significant milestone in connecting the region to the rest of China. According to one story, shortly after the road's opening, government officials visited a newly accessible village. Upon arrival, they discovered that the village had no accommodations for travelers and that few residents even spoke standard Chinese. Local hospitality, however, was unwavering. The visitors were invited into the home of the village leader, but outside, a group of women, unfamiliar with cars, mistook the officials' vehicles for strange animals. They attempted to feed the creatures by stuffing straw into the engines. While this tale may involve some poetic license, it underscores the region's remoteness and isolation. Giju is wild, rugged, and notoriously difficult to build in. Despite these challenges since 1989, the Chinese government has undertaken an ambitious road-building campaign, transforming the nation's infrastructure. By 2020, China boasted over 160,000 kilometers of highways, surpassing the United States with the world's longest expressway system. Even in Guizhou's unforgiving terrain, roads have reached almost every corner of the province. China is now embarking on the next stage of its development plan, linking smaller cities across the nation with an extensive road network. Why the intense focus on infrastructure? The answer is simple. Transportation is fundamental to economic growth. Reliable roads allow people, goods, and services to move freely across regions, knitting together China's vast and varied landscape. Even Guizhou's impenetrable mountains haven't slowed this progress. Today, the province is crisscrossed by modern highways, with some expressways boasting up to six lanes. What makes this possible? Bridges. Guizhou now has more high bridges, defined as those over 100 meters tall, than the rest of the world combined. To put this into perspective, Guizhou has over 250 high bridges. Italy, the next closest contender, has just 60 in total. Among these, three of the world's tallest bridges, including some still under construction, are in Guizhou. What's even more remarkable is that all three span the same river, the Beipan River. This river, with its immense canyons stretching hundreds of kilometers, has become a proving ground for world-class engineering. No other river on Earth hosts as many record-breaking bridges. Connecting Giju to the rest of China has required mastering the Beipan River and its dramatic landscape, and the effort is paying off. Over the last 30 years, Giju's road network has transformed the once isolated province into a connected and thriving region. Today, Giju is a popular tourist destination, celebrated for its stunning natural beauty. Beyond tourism, it's becoming a hub for big data infrastructure. The same karst landscapes that once made construction so challenging now attract significant investment. Giju's deep gorges and cool winds are ideal for funneling cold air to data centers, helping to keep servers from overheating without expensive cooling systems. Additionally, the province's many rivers make it a prime location for hydropower facilities, further solidifying its role in China's modern infrastructure boom. As a result of its unique geography and natural resources, Giju has attracted major companies like Apple, Huawei, and Tencent, which are establishing regional data centers in the province. These investments are helping to boost Giju's economy year after year. With the economy on the rise, development is accelerating, and new transportation links are essential to accommodate the influx of investment and tourism. This is where the Huajiang Bridge comes in. As we mentioned earlier, this engineering marvel will reduce travel time on the Liu Yuan Expressway by over an hour, greatly enhancing regional connectivity. But this bridge is more than just a transportation link. It's also a destination in its own right, more than just a highway in the sky. Building the Huajiang Bridge in a region as rugged as Guizhou is a monumental achievement, especially considering construction only began in 2021. Recognizing its potential, the regional government plans to turn the bridge into a major tourist attraction. 
the vision is to offer visitors a one-of-a-kind experience that makes the Wajang Bridge stand out among the world's most iconic structures. Welcoming tourists to carry the highway to the sky, as the information board describes it, is a key part of this plan. Before even stepping onto the bridge, visitors will be able to explore a state-of-the-art visitor center. Here, they can learn about the bridge's construction and the rich history of the surrounding region. For those who want to fully immerse themselves in the experience, private accommodations will be available on site. These lodgings, with stunning views overlooking the bridge and the canyon, will give guests the opportunity to witness the breathtaking scenery from entirely new perspectives, including during sunrise or sunset. Visitors to the Huajiang Bridge will have a host of thrilling options to experience its breathtaking heights and the surrounding scenery. One standout feature is the glass elevator that takes guests to the top of the South Tower, 180 meters above the road. At the top, they'll find a bar and cafe, perfect for relaxing and soaking in the panoramic views. But the adventure doesn't stop there. The same elevator will also drop visitors below the road deck, directly into the bridge's support trusses. Beneath the bustling highway, an 800-meter walkway extends out toward the middle of the bridge. Along the walkway, guests can explore rooms with glass floors, dine at a restaurant, and, for the truly brave, experience the ultimate thrill, the world's highest bungee jump. At the bridge's highest point, visitors can leap off into the canyon, experiencing an adrenaline rush like no other. For those who prefer to keep their feet firmly planted, the walkway offers spectacular views of the bridge and the surrounding canyon. The Huajiang Bridge isn't just about the thrill of the structure itself, it's also about highlighting Guizhou's incredible natural beauty. The project aims to draw visitors not only to the bridge, but also to explore the region's unique landscapes, fostering a deeper appreciation for Guizhou's rugged charm. How much does it all cost? With such an ambitious project, the price tag was naturally a point of curiosity. Information on the cost was scarce due to limited reporting and the Chinese government's tendency to withhold details on large infrastructure projects. However, with the help of Eric Sikowski, the estimated cost of the Huajiang Bridge is $280 million. Construction is on track to be completed next year, and the project appears set to stay within budget. Final Thoughts the Huajiang Bridge is a marvel of engineering, tourism, and connectivity set to transform the region. But we have to ask, would you take on the world's highest bungee jump off this bridge? Let us know in the comments below. If this video has sparked your interest, check out our deep dive into China's $100 billion Megadam project in the Himalayas. Special thanks to Eric for his invaluable contributions, and thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next one.